Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how to set up Shopify payments for beginners. Be sure to watch the entire video to gain a comprehensive understanding. Without further delay, let's get started. First, open your web browser. Make a search for Shopify.com. As you can see, this is a global commerce platform. Now scroll down the page. So you need to provide your email address here in order to get started. On the bottom, you can see that millions of merchants are here on Shopify with being represented in more than 170 countries and a lot more. This is where you can explore the world's largest commerce community. Here is present enterprise plus partners, developers and creators. From the top, you need to tap on Pricing. So the first plan here is basic, which starts at $25 per month. Next is Shopify, which starts at $65 per month. The last one over here is Advanced, which starts at $399 per month. Next, go to the Pay Yearly button where you can save 25%. Here, basic plan starts at $19 per month. Next is Shopify, which starts at $49 per month. Last one here is Advanced, which starts at $299 per month. From the top area, I'm going to select Login. Here, Tap on My Store. From the bottom left, go to Settings. Here, you can see a lot of options in the menu. This includes Store Details, Plan, Billing, Users and Permissions, Payments, Checkouts, and a lot more. So, I'm going to select Payment over here. First of all, there are Payment Providers, then Support Payment Methods. Downside, you can see manual payment methods as well. So here, I'm going to click on the button, choose a provider. Scroll down and you can explore a number of providers over here including Authorize.net, AirPay and some more. Now, I'm going to tap on Add Payment Methods, which you can see under the section Support Payment Methods. In the search bar, here you can make a search by payment method. Next step over here is search by provider. So here you can search by entering any specific provider. Now you need to go to the section manual payment methods. Click on the button add manual payment method. Its menu contains the option to create a custom payment method bank deposit, money order, and cash on delivery. So, scroll up and go to Add Providers again. Then tap on Choose a Provider. As you can see, many of the payment providers over here are unavailable in our country. So what I'm going to do is tap on Checkout, which is the first network provider over here. In the About section, you can see details about this particular payment provider. Under the Account Information section, you need to provide merchant code and secret words. Once you are done with this, scroll up the page. This is where you can read thoroughly the setup instructions. So, I'm opening an account setup link in a new tab. From the top right of the page, Tap on the button, sign up for free. Here, first of all, provide your first name and last name. You need to provide business email over here. Open a new tab. Make a search for fake mail. So, I'm going to click on the second link over here. 
All you need to do is copy this fake mail here and then paste it under the business email section. Next, enter a password. After this, there is a field for website. For this, go to Shopify. Right-click on your store name. Then click on Copy Link Address. Simply paste it in website. Choose a country from the options available. Now give human verification. Next, tap on Get Started. So you can save this password in Google Account Password. This is where you can create your two checkout account. Next, select the type of products which you want to sell. Options include digital products, online services, retail products, offline services, and others. Select one from the options available. Then click on Create Account. As you can see, your account has been created. All you need to do is tap on the button Log in to my account. So first of all, you have to put username over here. For this, go to the tab Fake Email again. Copy paste this email in the username field. Next, you need to enter password. Once you are done with this, simply click on the button Sign In. As before, you can save this password to your Google account's password. This is where you can get started with this particular payment provider. First step here is to activate your account. Tap on the button Start Activation. So before you start is the first step over here. Next, go to About Your Business. This is all the information which you need to provide over here. What I'm going to do is tap on Financial Details. In Financial Details, first of all, provide Company Registration ID. After this, enter Tax Registration Number. Now provide Annual Online Transacted Volumes. Then provide Average Order Value. In the end, you need to set Chargeback Rates. Here, you need to go to Stakeholders. Here, you need to tap on the button Add Stakeholder. Next, go to the step About Your Products. Now, choose a product or service category. Likewise, go to the next step that is Account Settings. After this, go to Documents. Then, go to the last step, which is Summary. Once you are done with all of this, click on the button Submit from the bottom right of the page. Close this window. Now, go to your Shopify store. In the Setup Instructions, read the third step. This is basically to access the integrations. For this, go to the tab of To Checkout. Here, go to the Integration section. Tap to open Webhooks and API. Now, go back to Shopify. Next up in Setup Instructions is about the Merchant Code. For this, again, go to the To Checkout tab. Scroll down and you can see merchant code and secret words over here. Copy this merchant code to the clipboard. Now go back to the Shopify store. Under the account information, paste the merchant code. Read the next step in setup instructions. Go to the integrations tab of To Checkout again. Scroll down and go to INS Secret Word. 
Tap the button Generate. Now copy this newly generated secret word to clipboard. Go back to the Shopify store. Paste the copied secret word in the section here under Accounts Information. Now read the next instruction. Go to the Integrations tab of your particular payment provider. From the bottom right, I'm going to close this box for the time being by clicking OK. After this, go to Redirect URL. All you need to do is check the box here. Next, select a return method. Here, I'm selecting return method to header redirect. Tap on the update button. As you can see, the configuration has been saved successfully. So make sure you have selected the return method as header redirect as per the instructions. Here, read the last instruction. After this, from the bottom, select Activate to Checkout button. As you can see, this has been activated. From the bottom, go to Test Mode. Check the box in order to enable Test Mode. As you can see, in the Test Mode, all of the transactions will be simulated. Click on the Save button. Again, disable test mode. Again, tap on the save button. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to get notified for new videos.